Oh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, smack that subscribe button and give this video a nice big thumbs up. Shows me that you care and that you like what I'm doing. In today's video, we are going over the BAM Big Box. Back to the future. Finally, it's time to open this bad boy and see what all was included in this $130 box, I believe. I'm right on that. $130 box. If I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comments. But this is supposed to include an autograph and I believe two art prints. I am not sure what everything was included in this box. But what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to look inside and see what all comes in it. I'm excited. I love Back to the Future and all that good stuff. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's pop it. I don't really know which. All right. I don't know which way to open it. Let's open it this way. All right. There's that. Let's grab the first thing that we see. First wrapped item in the BAM big box. Back to the future. And it's going to be the enamel pins. The first enamel pin is going to be from Back to the Future 3, where he plays a cowboy, Marty the Cowboy. And the second pin is going to be from Back to the Future 3, Doc, with his pistol and everything. They're pretty solid pins. I mean, they're nothing, they're nothing super crazy awesome. They're your basic looking pins. I like them, they look cool. So that's two items down. Let's see. What's this? We got some Back to the Future shades. It looks like. Some sunglasses. That's what those look like. They're pretty cool. I, they're not practical. <laughs> you ain't gonna wear these out in public. But they are something cool. They're unique. You definitely are not going to wear these out. Look, I can see underneath. I got a big ass head too, so they don't really fit that well. That's pretty cool. I mean, what we got? What's this item here? Oh, we got a hat. It's a weird look. Look, that's the kind of, that's the hat they sent you. I'll probably never wear this out. It's a, I don't know what that material is. It kind of feels like leather, but it's not. It says 100% polyester, but this outside, I don't know what this is. Let's take a gander at it. Huh? How about it? See, my head's too big. It doesn't fit that good. But then, let's throw on this hat and the glasses. Now we're ready to go back in time. Let's go. So that's the first. We got one, two, three, four. And that's four items in this box. Let's see. What's this? We got some 3D glasses. I don't know what the 3D glasses are for. I sure hope the 3D glasses isn't for the signature. All right, let's see. Let's, let's. So this is the art print, I believe, or an autograph. Okay, it's the art print. The art print looks pretty cool. Back in time. I guess that's what these 3D glasses are for. It makes it look all 3D. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but it looks pretty cool. That's the big art print that came in the box. I mean, I like it. It's number 571 out of 700. So I guess 700 of these were made. Now, here's the big boy. This is the autograph. I was told I wouldn't be disappointed by this autograph. And I got fingers crossed. 
because so far, the, I mean, the value, I'm at probably 50 bucks for this box right now. Nothing stand out. So let's see. Three, two, one. Who we got? Christopher Lloyd. Emmett Brown. I like that picture. The picture's pretty cool. Save the clock tower. Christopher Lloyd's autograph. I had a feeling when they announced this box, it was going to be either Bit, was the name Biff? Or is it going to be Doc Brown? So that's who we got. I do love Christopher Lloyd. He's in a lot of good movies, but this Back to the Future, I watch it nonstop and I can never turn it off. I can literally turn it on and watch it all day long. So that's that. I'll give you another close up of his autograph, the, the picture. Pretty rad, man. Again, if you want to send your autographs into Beckett, use BAM25. You'll save 25% off. So, what do you think about this box? Do you think this box is worth it? You got the two pins, the art print, the futuristic glasses, the hat. And Christopher Lloyd's autograph. What do you guys think? Do you think it was worth it? I'm not sure. But it is a cool autograph to have. I'm not a big autograph chaser like some, but I am not mad to have Christopher Lloyd's autograph in my collection now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our new two new pins that we got. We're going to take them out of the packaging and we're going to slap them on the board. All right, y'all. Like every time, we got our pin board here. Full of all the goodies that I've gotten in the past. So we're gonna take Mr. Marty McFly, which is 698 out of 800. I'm gonna slap them up here with the other fan boxes. We're gonna take Mr. Doc Brown, Christopher Lloyd's pin, which is 212 out of 800. Slap him right underneath. Right underneath Marty McFly. And boom, there they are. Right smack dab in the middle. That's what the pin board's looking at. Don't forget, once this is full, I'll probably be selling it out to somebody. So stay tuned. Well, with that being said, boys and girls, stay tuned for the next BAM Pop Culture Box coming up soon. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate the support. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. As well as all my social media links down below. Follow me up, hit me up. As always, I'll catch you guys later.